What if I told you you could have the ultimate 3DS experience? 4K textures, 60 FPS, seeing the game in real 3D on your AR glasses, using your gaming handheld as a touchscreen. I will show you how to power up your games. We're first going to install our 3DS emulator. I've chosen Azahar because it supports 3D side by side in a separate window from the touchscreen. So on the glasses, we'll see in 3D, and then on Steam Deck, we can interact through the touchscreen there. We can install it on Windows, Android, Linux, or Mac. I'm choosing the Linux app image for the Steam Deck. Go ahead and open that up. I'm gonna move that into Applications, and go ahead and launch. So from here, we're gonna to go to Emulation, Configure, Go to graphics, it's set to 2x native. We're gonna to go to 6x, which will set it to about 1440p. This is for like, say the characters, or the bosses, this is gonna scale up the resolution for them, make it look nicer. We're gonna set stereoscopic 3D mode to side by side and the depth to 100%. Then from here, we're gonna to go to layout. We're gonna set separate windows, stretch, so this will fill out when we go into full screen with the script I'll provide. We're going to add 100 pixels to the bottom margin. So this will keep the aspect ratio, say like on the 3DS, where the bottom screen is kind of like a square on the Steam Deck so that it kind of follows that same ratio. Then in advanced, we're going to set Vulkan and our GPU. We'll also enable async shader compilation this will just improve how shaders are rendered, and so it'll improve uh, our frame rates and things like that. We're gonna disable VSync. This will reduce kind of the um, frame times between frames and also just allow us later on to use lossless scaling, which will take our 30 FPS standard to 60 FPS or even higher. So after that, we'll also set controls. It comes with a Steam Deck default. You can also hit auto map and move the joystick there to, to map it if you need to, or if you're on ROG Ally or gaming handheld. Next, we're gonna import our game files so that we can have easy access to them anytime we load up the Azar emulator. So we're gonna double click, go to documents, and where my files are at for my 3DS game files, I'm gonna load those in. Azahar only supports CCI for you to import it and have access to it. You can easily rename 3DS files to CCI if you need to. An important step before we run the emulator in Ocarina of Time, we want to install my script and allow our machine to run that script. So we'll go to our downloads and run a command chmod plus x and the name of the script so now our machine can run the script that'll set the two screens to be one for the 3D on the glasses and the touchscreen on the Steam Deck. Let's check that out now. To ensure the script works properly, to have this be the touchscreen and the glasses be the 3D side of the screen, we need to go into the display configuration and ensure that this screen is set to primary and the glasses is set to just enabled. It's set by this by default, but just want to make sure that that's all set correctly. Also need to ensure view is turned off for full screen and single mode. Once we're all set there, we're good to start the game up and run the script. So this set the touchscreen as the bottom and the 3D side of it as on the glasses. So we'll go ahead and go into the game. Okay, so we have the touch screen here. You can see it works as you would expect. But you're probably more interested to see what it looks like on the glasses. As you can see, we're now in the game and we can move around and it's in 3D. Of course, you can't see it on, on here, but in person, it looks amazing. And at the same time, we can access our touchscreen just like you would on the 3DS. So next, I'll show you how to add 4K textures and take this to the next level. 
shout out to Henrico Magnifico, who did the work to create these textures. You can support him on Patreon or Ko-Fi. He also has them up for free there as well, but, you know, always nice to support some creators. I will link Henrico's website down below for you guys to easily access. So, once we have that downloaded, then we are good to extract the files. So, double click here, drop down, user load textures, and then this random number, it's the NTSC representation for Ocarina of Time. So you'll right click and extract and extract that wherever you need to. So once we have that extracted, we'll click through till we reach that folder with the NTSC number. Then we'll load up Azahar, click open, custom texture location, bring up our other folder and we can take this old folder, throw that in the trash, and copy in our new one. So this is loading in all those 4K textures that we downloaded into Azahar. Next, we're going to configure our Azahar to support custom textures, as well as we'll leave the async custom texture loading on. This helps with performance. And now we're ready to enjoy some 4K greatness. Let's check it out. Thanks to Enrico, we can now see the game in 4K with 4K textures on. And it looks beautiful in comparison. It's just a nice quality of life upgrade. Even the UI elements are improved. So those are in higher quality as well. Next, I'll be showing you how to do 60 FPS with lossless scaling to take this to the next level. In order to enable lossless scaling on your Steam Deck, we're going to need two things, Decky Loader and the lossless scaling plugin for Decky Loader. We're going to go ahead and download here and go ahead and install. Since I already have it installed, I'm just going to update to latest release and we're good to go there. So once you have that downloaded, then you're going to want to download lossless scaling. I'll provide this link in the description. Once you've downloaded that zip, we're going to move over to actually gaming mode on the Steam Deck, and I'll show you what that looks like for installation there. So one cool trick I figured out in the midst of filming this is you can actually go into big picture mode in order to avoid going to gaming mode. So we'll go ahead and go to big picture mode. and we will install lossless scaling. And in order to do that, we need to enable developer mode. We'll go to developer, install plugin from zip file. And then from there, I have it in my downloads, I'm fairly certain, with lossless scaling from that GitHub I mentioned earlier. So we'll go ahead and install that. There we are, we have lossless scaling enabled. While we're here though, we need to also install this uh, LSFGFK. Uh, it just enables it for Vulkan APIs. I like to set the configuration to 2x and the flow scale. You can pick somewhere between 70 and 80 is good. Present mode needs to be set to mailbox for uh, Azahar to work well. We'll want performance mode on. And other than that, we are set to go on 60 FPS. In order to enable lossless scaling, we're going to need to add the Azahar emulator to Steam. I have it located here for, this is via Emudeck where it automatically installs. So for our specific case, we installed it to the applications folder. So we're going to go ahead and add that. So now we have Azahar app image, go to properties. We're going to go to launch options and set till date dev slash lsfg and then command. Uh, this command is also provided in the in the Decky plugin uh, and I can link it below for you to use. 
So once we launch and go over back to the Steam Deck, we can go see what that looks like in 60 FPS. Let's check it out. With lossless scaling fully set up, we're now ready to experience 60 FPS gaming. Go ahead and launch Azahar. What's weird with lossless scaling is you can't interact with the trackpad. Uh, I think it's just how it renders the application. So we'll use our finger to start the game. Now, as you can see, it says 120 FPS. In actuality, it's 60 FPS, which is double what we started with. To use the script, you need to select outside of the bounds of Azahar or go to a folder to run it. Let's go ahead and start that. And there we are. We are now ready to start the game. And I'll switch over to glasses and see what that looks like. This is Ocarina of Time in real 3D with 4K textures and 60 FPS with the Steam Deck as our touchscreen. It's absolutely beautiful in person. I wish you could see it. If you like this video, please let me know your favorite 3DS game. Subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next one.